Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2020 graduation ceremony for Regiopolis Notre Dame Catholic High School. My name is Patrick Murphy, and I am a former member of the teaching staff here at R&D. I have the honor of emceeing this graduation. Many students received their diplomas, awards, and silver crosses prior to this virtual graduation. The silver crosses are a complement to the wooden crosses that were given to the students in their first weeks of grade nine. Please note that our graduates' names will appear at the bottom of the screen during the ceremony, and special awards will be highlighted on the split screen. Please stand for our national anthem, sung by graduate Sarah Burgess, and remain standing. I now call upon Mary Elaine Carty, Chaplain of Regiopolis Notre Dame, for our land acknowledgement. Regiopolis Notre Dame Catholic High School is situated on the traditional territories of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe. We honor and celebrate their enduring contributions to this land, as well as the presence of the Métis, Inuit, and other First Nations from across Turtle Island. Friar Jim Fuchs will now lead us in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come together before your ever-loving eyes with our hearts thankful for all those near and dear to us who are graduating from high school. In this very difficult and challenging time with the pandemic, we still can give you thanks for each graduate with the talents and the abilities and self-discipline required for this wonderful accomplishment. We are grateful to you for providing the teachers, the mentors, coaches, and youth counselors who have taught them, nurtured them, and challenged them along the way. Now that their minds have been well equipped with the basic knowledge of many different subjects, we pray that their hearts and spirits will also be well equipped for the life that you have chosen for them. Add heavenly wisdom and discernment to their knowledge. Infuse their ambitions and dreams with your love. Help them to desire your good way for their future. Remind them that you are only a prayer away when they meet obstacles, heartbreaks, and challenges. May they always be courageous enough to ask for help advice, and support when they need it. May they never needlessly suffer alone without reaching out to you and to others who care. As they become independent adults, help them learn the secret of dependence on you. Give them a desire to know more about you. May they find you in the scriptures, in the joy of new love, in the gathering and celebration of your people, in the beauty of your creation, and in the strength and uniqueness of their youth. And now may your blessings be theirs as they begin a new life full of joy and promise. For we ask you with trust through Jesus, your Son, and our Lord. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Trustees, senior ALC DSB staff, honored guests, R&D staff, ladies and gentlemen, and the class of 2020. Tonight, these graduates of Regiopolis Notre Dame gather virtually to celebrate their accomplishments and to receive their Ontario Secondary School diplomas and certificates. This even can be more party than graduation, and this is a celebration, but it should be one tinged with elements of sadness and perhaps trepidation, anxiousness about the future, uncertainty about what next year might hold, especially in these times. And you are sent into the world as graduates of Regiopolis Notre Dame. And tonight, I ask that you consider what expectations might come with that particular designation, graduate of Regiopolis Notre Dame. As you receive your diploma, as tens of thousands of others have over this school's 180 year history, as you are given awards, many sponsored by men and women who set aside considerable capital 50, 60, 70 years ago for your benefit today. Many of them graduates, former Notre Dame and R&D teachers and present day staff, all of whom have been dedicated to this school in so many life altering ways and exclusively for your benefit. And these awards that have been won previously by leading scientists, civic leaders, artists, and athletes who proudly call R&D their home. St. Paul has said that the tree will be known by the fruit. And so as we begin tonight, I ask you to consider the contributions of all of those who have made your graduation possible, those present and absent, those living and deceased, and to consider what your contribution will be to the legacy of Regiopolis Notre Dame. To bring greetings from the Algonquin and Lakeshore Catholic District School Board, I call upon Chair of the Board, Mr. Terry Shea. Hello, my name is Terry Shea. I'm the Chair of the Board of Trustees of the Algonquin and Lakeshore Catholic District School Board. And on their behalf, it's my pleasure to bring greetings and congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. This year has been extremely challenging and has caused disruption in all our lives. While our health continues to be the driver of many of the changes we've had to make, in its wake have been a number of rituals, traditions, and rites of passage. Thanks to the unwavering commitment of your teachers and your, and your parents, you are graduates of Regiopolis Notre Dame. Your path to success is unique to 2020, and on this path is a demonstration of resilience, patience, calm in the face of a pandemic, and best of all, you've received a solid foundation to overcome new challenges. As Regiopolis Notre Dame graduates, we look to you to do great things, to be ambassadors for our schools and share your experience by applying the knowledge you've gained while living your faith. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to offer you congratulations and best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shea. I now call upon Director of Education David DeSantis and Superintendent Terry Slack to bring congratulations to the graduates on behalf of the board's senior administration. Hi, this is David DeSantis, Director of Education. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and our senior team, it is my honor to recognize our 2020 graduates. While these last several months have been unprecedented, and have presented you with numerous challenges, your resilience and grit pushed you across the finish line. Our vision is that all are empowered to reach your full potential through faith and service. I am confident that your recent personal and academic challenges have only nurtured your competencies and skills that were a product of your Catholic education. It is my hope that you continue to demonstrate the resilience and grit that will be required for you to reach your full potential post-secondary. May your light continue to shine before others so that they may see your good works. May God bless you. Good evening. My name is Terry Slack and I'm the Superintendent of School Effectiveness with Supervision for Regiopolis Notre Dame. And this evening, I'd like to take the opportunity to congratulate all of the graduates. You have done a tremendous amount of work to get you to this point in unprecedented times. Your work started in grade nine and it concludes now with graduation from high school. 
my congratulations to your parents and to your friends and to your family. Thank you for all of the support that you've provided to your young person as they made their way through high school to graduation. They wouldn't have done it without you and they're very grateful. You have every reason to be proud this evening. And back again to graduates. I want you to know that today you join a prestigious group, the alumni of Regiopolis Notre Dame. I'm one of those alumni and I'm extremely proud of you and of our community. So congratulations. We look forward to seeing what wonderful things you do in the world ahead. I now invite Ms. Terry Daniel, principal of Regiopolis Notre Dame Catholic High School to address the graduating class. Congratulations to the R&D class of 2020. You have made it to the high school finish line. This particular race hit a bit of a rut during the last three and a half months of your 12th grade year, and then we pressed pause after that. And now here we are, or here I am, hoping that you are home with your families, marking this milestone moment with your loved ones. I guess one upside to this is that your families are free to hoot and holler their applause for you however much they please. Yay, class of 2020! You are a class with a story, a story that is shared with Regiopolis College, Notre Dame Convent, and R&D alumni for nearly 190 years. Others before you have known adversity, have adapted to societal change, and have known war and sacrifice. I am sure the R&D class of 2020 could have a spirited conversation with the Regiopolis and Notre Dame classes of 1917, comparing notes, pandemic kindred spirits. We hit pause as a society and it remains to be seen what we learn from it. I know you, the R&D class of 2020, will emerge from this wiser, stronger, kinder, and more grounded in your faith. I wish you all the best on your journeys and hope that you will stay in touch with us and let us know what the next adventures bring. Congratulations all. Thank you, Ms. Daniel. Each year, the graduating students through an election process select a peer to speak as their valedictorian. I now call upon the graduate's choice for valedictorian for 2020, McKinley Slamansky. Circle up. For me, it's the huddle each time out of a basketball game and holding hands saying grace with my family before a holiday dinner. For you, it might be sitting around a conductor at band practice or gathering around a fire making s'mores. Think back to elementary school or daycare and to how much of those experiences revolved around the circle. Through everything, we come together as a community and we circle up. Over the past couple of months, my friends and I have had to get creative in how we can spend time with each other, eventually settling on meeting at a big open parking lot. We circled up, literally, around each other in our cars, which gave us the ability to share news and stories and hang out while keeping our distance. In a circle, you see everyone. There is no beginning or end. In a circle, everyone is present. It was over these past couple of months that we recognized the importance of connection, specifically community. Good evening, Reverend Fathers, sisters, trustees, family and friends, faculty, and my fellow graduates of Regiopolis Notre Dame, class of 2020. My name is McKinley Shemlansky, and it is my honor to deliver this valedictory address. Now, communities are formed through shared experience good and bad. As a Panther, our community began to grow from the minute we first walked the halls of R&D, with our uniform shirts tucked into our kilts or pants, and for some of us, our pants tucked into our socks. As the black dress shoes gave way to Sperry's and Blundstones, and most girls realized that the boys' uniform shirts were way more comfortable, we grew up. From matley competitions to sports games and events, band trips and deca meets, musicals, chess club, IB, badminton, choir, and everything else R&D had to offer these past four years, our community strengthened. From grabbing a slice of pizza from Gino's, snagging the last spot in the parking lot, or getting away with a non-uniform sweater in your first period, there's something about these experiences, 
like stressing over tests and assignments, which some of us did enough, that really brings you close to the people around you. But we should also acknowledge all of those who contribute so selflessly to the life of our school, who want our experiences to be positive ones. So to our teachers, coaches, EAs, admin, support staff, and volunteers, thank you for everything you have passed on to us over our last four years at R&D, whether in the classroom, throughout the halls, in a church, on a court, rink, field, or track, your lessons are invaluable. Now I'd like you all to take a second and picture the memory that most stands out for you from your time at R&D. And now, remember someone who may have contributed to that memory. Gratitude is such an important piece of community. Therefore, I encourage you to take some time today, tomorrow, or this weekend to thank that individual. Circling up also reminds us, although sometimes painful, of those who are absent. We remember Miranda Mitchell and Mr. White and Barb McGill and everything they contributed to this community. We miss them. I think that sometimes we forget, during times like these, when we can get immersed in our own uncertainty, that there are others around us who are perhaps more worried for us than we are for ourselves. To our family and friends, and especially to our parents, guardians, aunts and uncles, godmothers and godfathers, you need to know that we are good. We're going to be okay. You've done your job. And whatever faces us in the future, we know that we have you with us on the journey. And finally, to my fellow graduates, thank you. I am beyond grateful to have shared the last four years with our class, and I am beyond grateful for you electing me to speak on your behalf. I want you all to know that I am very proud of you. In speaking to a veteran staff member a while ago, he suggested that this class has endured difficulties like no other from strikes, to snow days, to significant loss, to a global pandemic, to online learning, to a slightly different way of graduating, we've had a tough year. And these are only the struggles that we collectively know about. Many of us face our own individual challenges, and yet, here we are, graduates of Regiopolis, Notre Dame. It wasn't how we planned it, and certainly not the ceremony we had imagined. But we've done it, together. So, circle up. As our graduation ceremony comes to a close, and we move on from R&D, I'd like to remind you of how we all got to this point. Community. We entered a community in grade nine, and we have contributed to that community for four years. We have learned that together as a community, we overcome. Together as a community, we triumph. The world has changed considerably in just the past few months, but the one consistent has been, and needs to be, our care for each other. I hope you will all remember the connections and memories you have made during your time in R&D, and reach out to your people when you are in need of strength. We need to be proud of where we are, but in going forward, remember this. We do not accomplish anything alone. Know that your community is there when you most need them, and circle up. Congratulations, Regiopolis Notre Dame, Class of 2020. Thank you, and goodbye. Thank you, McKinley. And thanks to all for their various contributions to this evening. I would like to conclude by suggesting to our grads that your contribution to the R&D legacy need not be as Supreme Court Justice, Olympic medalist, or Nobel Prize winner though any of those things would be nice too. St. Mother Teresa of Kolkata used to say, not all of us can do great things, but we can all do small things with great love. And that is the common characteristic of all the people, some of whom you know well, others whom you do not know at all, who have brought you to this point today. Family, friends, teachers, staff members, alumni, the Sisters of Notre Dame, the Jesuits, and other R&D benefactors. Small things with great love. To put it another way, two years ago, 
A graduate painted a message from the book of Micah as a reminder for present and future members of our community. And I think it a fitting message for you as we unleash the R&D class of 2020 on the world. It says, what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? And if you aspire to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly in whatever path you choose, you will have contributed honorably to the legacy of Regiopolis Notre Dame. I ask you now to stand for God Save the Queen, and I thank you. Good evening.